Ready, Phantom? Ready, Keg. Let's go! Oh, hey, it's time for the TBAP show. Everybody watch, come on, let's go. TBAP! Hello and welcome to this week's episode of TBAP. Two best brothers bitch about ponies. I'm Keg Standard. And I'm Phantom Horn. And this week's episode was the main attraction main attraction written by mm, written the main by event the, the, the big reigning Kahuna, mvp the big lebowski the big the big the central activity yeah <laughs> the it was central activity it was it. written by the 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 undisputed champ as far as i'm concerned for episodes amy keating rogers uh she's written i think all my favorite episodes besides Magical right. mystery care um right. but but she's she's the heavy hitter so amy uh it'll be it'll be an interesting to see how she has stacked up uh, compared to her previous well, one. Well, I'll tell you, Keg, this was yeah. not one of my favorite episodes. Well, well, okay, okay. I'll just uh, say, I thought it was okay, and there were great... The, the, the song. I thought the songs were great. Yeah. The plot was just okay and a little weak. The plot was so, very basic. So overall, I'm going to say I mostly liked it. At times, fascinating. I found this episode fucking fascinating and loved watching it i did it was i did it was, have moments where i, I was think, loving watching it i can well say that. you know i don't think <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to spoil my thoughts later but man i i have some 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 interesting feelings about this episode that made it uh you know you know what they say uh, it's better to feel rage than to feel <laughs> sadness and that's great. You know, so uh I, that's, I didn't, that's my theme that's the theme of my of my discussion that's great here. and i like it and you know i I'm formulating a little theory in my pony brain right now. I think oh, yeah? I know. I think I know what it is that you're mad about. I, I think you probably do. But let's okay. We'll, we'll get to we'll that. We'll see. We'll see. Any. I will say this episode did have a weird vibe, and for me, that weird mm-hmm, vibe mm-hmm. came from the fact that the plot of this episode, yeah, is about a superstar yes. coming to town. Make Sapphire Shores look like a fucking joke. A giant superstar, highfalutin, big coming, manager. Coming you to know, Ponyville. Coming big to Ponyville. city. Yeah. And the whole plot mm-hmm. takes place with the main six just standing around in a field. Well, I mean. Until, that, the, until the concert. Mm, that, that does sort it, of it make really, sense. It really felt like they were all yeah. just standing around in like an open field the whole time. Well, okay, but when a celebrity comes to town, you do kind of stand around and gawk in their general direction. It's um, it's not that they were standing around. At, okay, first of all, the fact yeah. that the main six even... I mean, I know they're famous, but not in this way, you know? Well, what do I you didn't, mean? Like, I that didn't they were really able to get see close? why the main six were there. Well, okay, uh, Pinky, it's obvious. Pinky was the one who arranged oh, everything. You know, yeah. Actually, uh, wait. It, 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 mm, yeah, what? that is obvious. I guess yeah. the only ones that had zero reason to be there were Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash, and they both had, like, no lines. I think Fluttershy yeah, so, literally had no lines. I, I'm pretty sure Rainbow did, too. But, yeah, they, you know, oh. they, like, they were somewhat famous. It made sense to be okay. in that facility. Okay. So, yeah. So that's fine. You're right. Yeah. Good. But okay, good. That was still, not a problem for me. it didn't... Just, just the activities going on didn't feel very... Um, well, celebrity okay, okay. I don't uh, know. But, but okay, here's the thing, though. That's kind of the point, because this whole thing yeah. the manager obviously was not into and didn't want her to do, but because she, you know, has that charitable side to her, she's willing to, you know, kind of do dives like this. I guess so. Uh, I, you know. I guess so. I mean, in, I, I see where in, you're coming from, in, though. Um, like, would Lady Gaga come to, like, our hometown, Ponyville, Ponyville. And, and put on a show? Well... Mm, in, well, maybe I mean, in, as you saw this, in this yes, episode, that's this. exactly what she did. So. Right, because because it, it's quite clear she is Lady Gaga in yeah. just every way. That's that's who she is. So yeah, there you sure. go. Um, okay, so so uh, th- it was well, interesting. But, but, but I like, was in in what? in green what? isn't your color. Fluttershy yeah. gets famous and becomes a celebrity and gets led around by the nose by you know a big highfalutin city rich manager uh, type, mm-hmm, and that mm-hmm. one really had a sense of you you know. Yeah, I say like that difference? that one really had a sense of like high society and celebrity that this one did not at all. Oh, I don't know about that. I okay. mean, look at her entrance and, okay, and the way everyone no, fawns no, over her. Her entrance was great. and yeah. her performances were great. But those mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. those really carried the episode. Uh, I agree. And everything and in, in between, that, everything me... in between the performances, I I could. Let me I could let me live with that. I, w- I want to talk about that a little bit. This yeah. is one of those episodes to me that I like to use the word dense. I really felt like there was just a lot packed into this episode, I, a lot of care, a lot of love. I don't agree. And, 
You don't agree. I don't okay. agree at all. Like you said, you, you seem to think that it was thin in between the big performances. But, yeah. man, I, I thought there were a lot of good jokes. I thought there that, were, like, there were a lot of creative ways. Like, remember when Twilight captured the dude and, like, put him on the screen with a big, like, projector thing? Like, that was that was a sort of creative thing Hated to do. It. Like, it, it felt different Stupid. from what a basic episode would have where she would just, like, go in and say, I saw you do that. Like, uh, uh, you, you can hate the content of that activity. It was dumb. But I'm just saying that the application of events okay, was, first of all, was more... Okay, first of all, the mm. idea that she can magically capture video with her horn and then project it on a screen is stupid. I don't it's care. It's not stupid. I don't she can care, do anything, I don't dude. care that she's <laughs> Twilight and has super magical powers. That is so specifically a modern technology application now, now hang on magic, right there, because I, I loved, do not like I loved it. during the concert when, when, when Lady Gaga... Uh, uh, yes, during the... Cover, yes. Which, hey, stop! Stop, I want to say it. I want to say it. When she was singing <laughs> and the unicorn blasted her voice to do auto tune on her voice, that was sick. I that, loved that. That, that was, was rad. That was awesome. Yes. Because By the it, way, because man, it was funny and creative. I just but, really but, need to say how great that, especially the first concert was. It was my favorite moment of animation, probably in the entire series. It I, was so good, and okay, I loved it. And under it was rad. most circumstances, yeah. See, I don't know. Part of me really wanted to cringe yeah. watching a Lady Gaga pony like pony concert. Man, I kind of did too, but I, it was but so I good. didn't. But I so didn't. Good. <laughs> but I didn't because yeah. it's was it felt legit. It felt, it felt legit. Yeah, because you know, because they, they put their heart and soul it's a into show it, dude. that all the other characters are watching too. Yeah, you know, it's not yeah. like a musical number where you know I have to buy into the musical number to even follow the yeah. logic of the show or be mm -hmm. in the heads mm -hmm. of the characters. No, this is an in-universe performance that I can watch and sort of be separated from and you know judge for myself, just like the characters would. Yeah, totally. Anyway, totally. I and guess that was what I'm saying is that I like the concert, man. And and uh, more specifically, I re I I like uh uh. C color coloratura coloratura C coloratura I, th I thought she was rad i uh, i liked her i liked her design i mean she, she i've looked, got some issues she looked like a dazzling uh which is fine she did which was... uh she yeah no i she's mean good. i i but she's this, good. this episode and her and, her and she had a great concert... voice and she had a great voice which goes without saying and yeah, i feel I, like I she saw... was probably voiced by a celebrity but i don't know who a Tony Award-winning actress Lena Hall from Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Don't know what that is. I have. But se I've actually seen that says. movie. Oh, really? Is uh, it good? Yeah, it's about. I don't want to spoil it, but it's okay, about. That, well. It's sort of about a transsexual kind of. Uh, okay. Okay. It's weird and trippy. Is the, is the Angry Inch referring to her prosthetic dick? The, is that uh, is that the, the, the Angry Inch? Uh, <laughs> the. The, the the identity oh, of the God. angry inch i i can't say it, it it's would, a spoiler it okay spoil all right let's let's move on we, okay yes. so she she was great she was great she yeah. was okay but here's the thing um this whole episode really felt like it was hitting wait, harder wait, wait, than wait. ever before before what? you go on that i just want to go back to the technology thing well that's the, what i'm talking about actually the using the unicorn magic to auto-tune her voice was fun and creative and i liked it yeah twilight using her horn to magically capture video footage and then project it onto a screen is stupid what it's not creative it's just using her magic as an excuse to do something that modern technology would but, let but make us But that's exactly what the voice to... modulation does. Yeah, that's... I don't know. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel mm. like. It just doesn't feel. I mean, like it's a little more basic. There. And yeah, I don't know. I I, I liked it there. I didn't uh, like it uh, with Twilight. I, I mean, it whatever. does feel like. Also, kind of there's a cheat. the fact that the whole projection thing is such a such a routine by the numbers like uh, yeah. oh my evil manager is being mean let me expose okay. it well, for all to see we'll, we'll and get that into whole that thing we'll, was bad we, we will I mean, get into bad, that stuff but later I sure didn't love it okay okay but i was just going to say about the whole technology thing this episode i think more than any any other one before it felt like way more close to like real technology and like real life and you it, know it, it, it's it. a little bit odd to see uh equestria treated just exactly like real life um yeah, but you know, I, I don't begrudge it. It it, it all served the the purpose of the story really well. Like I... there there is a literal Lady Gaga. She's literally putting on a Lady Gaga concert. There's all this technology that she uses. A little strange, but you know what? Whatever. How it's, did it's I forget the manager's name? Oh, I wrote down uh Sven Gallop. Sven, Sven Gallop. Ga How did Sven Gallop? Sven Gallop says that he designed the voice effects, the magical he, voice he effects. Is a, he is a unicorn, isn't he? He's an unless he has a horn hidden somewhere in that weird fro of his. I'm just gonna say it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it is I think possible. Other because 
Well, you don't see the horn. Yeah. If he's an earth pony, it's hard to believe. However, okay, if okay. so, while I must while I'm disgusted with his earth pony heritage, yeah. I admire his attempt to rise above his station through yes, a study of the magical arts. That, I must con- I must yeah. I must applaud him. Got to respect um, also, that. Also, him, Sven Gallop. Yeah. Now, he's a pretty bad guy. He's he's a oh, total oh, he's a total Okay. Okay. Jerk. Here's Here's where we're going to get into the shit. But but can we can we t- before we go into him, can we just talk about AJ for for just a bit? Sure. Yeah. Um, you, cause you, let's I, save that if you yeah, like. Yeah, I was really surprised uh that that this was an AJ episode and I'm just going to say it, it. I think this was it like kind of was an AJ episode. Biggestest. Okay, it was again, she was it's, there to facilitate someone else to have an epiphany or yes. like to realize something. That's yes. that's her role AJ like it always was is. was a support character yeah. and like most she of her episodes she did not change at all she learned she nothing learn she didn't anything. learn anything yeah that's that's the thing <laughs> yeah. um and but you know it was cool to have to go follow. into her backstory <laughs> <laughs> i don't quite follow uh, uh. <laughs> it is the best um <laughs> it'll never get old no uh yeah and, and like we saw her at camp that was cool she yeah. played guitar you know we don't get a lot yeah. of that and it, it was cool you know and, and to see her like kind of as the juxtaposed against like a lady gaga dude you know it was it was cool i liked it it wasn't bad wasn't bad yeah it was a fine premise it was it was kind of but the episode really wasn't about her like okay i I know that she's her old friend so it makes sense for her to be interacting with her Mm -hmm. fair Mm -hmm. enough just yeah just the fact that this whole thing takes place in a setting where such a common pony can yeah. just the fact that AJ is able to just sort of walk up to Lady Gaga yeah. or Coloratura in in you like the middle Lady in the middle of rehearsal and be like, "Hey, can I have a word with you about your manager?" Just the fact that that's possible really kind of <laughs> killed the sense of I, I of celebrity. Like it was yeah. talking about how in a way that green isn't your color got, but this episode didn't get. I I feel you. It it, I feel we, it weakened the idea that she's this super. Super big star. You I, know? I'm with you. I, I I'm able to kind of ignore that because it's they're like in Ponyville. The thing's already kind of a dive, so it's, she's prepared. It's, you know, it's just you're I not don't know. you're not wrong there. Yeah, yeah. You're not uh, wrong okay, there. so now, all right, we we are you ready to get it? into? It sounds like you're ready to get into the shit. Oh, we we certainly are. So okay, so the 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 moral thing that happens, the 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 conceit of what's going on is uh-huh. um so so Lady Ra Ra shows up and she's not the down home pony. That AJ used to know, and no. it, apparently, uh, yeah, imagine that. And it's she's because got weird hair now. And she sings she wears, crazy music, electro. She whatever. wears spiky bracelets that make her look gothic. Oh, uh, can't can't deal with that gothic shit. That's no. not that's not Christian. Um, AJ, AJ doesn't believe in that satanic <laughs> garbage. Nope. Yeah. So, uh, so it's it becomes AJ's duty. I mean, okay. So she sees that the manager is exploiting okay, uh, her wait. success. First of get, all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eventually AJ does catch on that it's the manager that's the jerk. It, yes, but right. like the first time, there, yeah. there's like the first time, yeah. She she's looking, and she mm-hmm. sees like coloratura being like, "Oh, I love the children," and the manager is like, "Ah, fuck the children, you dumb yeah. piece of shit." And <laughs> and then like, uh, Pinkie Pie like turns to Applejack and she's like, "Well, I guess she's not the pony you knew anymore." And Applejack's like, "Hmm, I guess you're right. She really has changed." Uh, yeah. Like I the mean, first time uh, she should have picked up on, on it, the... she just didn't. It just like flew right over her head and made okay, me wonder okay. what the heck it, she was thinking. But then it could have been a one off. On, it could have so been a one off. You don't know. You know, I, I'm willing to excuse I'm just like saying, her exposure. It to was. It, I and just she was found probably a little... shocked, dude. She was shocked. She was in no, shock that her friend it was, was so just, different. It was just a little comical to me. Yeah, that she didn't pick up on it quite as fast All right, as she yeah. should have. Yeah, here's here's the thing with that. I, I um, mean, I laughed. I found happened. that I found that legitimate. Shut up, damn it! Hap- okay, I found. Okay. Shut the hell up! I, I found okay. that legitimately funny. You I'm found trying funny. to compliment Amy Keating Rogers here. You found, you're trying to comp. That sounds like a criticism that AJ was like she should have noticed and didn't just to allow the plot to develop. Yes, but it was funny and it heightened my enjoyment. Well, okay, uh, but but here's my issue with that same thing. It's just I, I knew exactly what was going to happen, and nothing deviated from that in the slightest. In the plot, you mean? Yeah. That's that's true. It was, yes. It was, yeah, and that, that's that, the that big wasn't thing. a good it's, thing. It's yeah. kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, 
the one where Rainbow gets accused of whatever, the Detective Rarity one. Yeah. And the last episode, whatever Rarity it was. Rarity takes I've already, mm-hmm. oh, I've, yeah No, the last episode, I've already forgotten what it was called. Because <laughs> Rarity it was investigates. So- Rarity investigates. No, last episode. Uh, Pinkie Pride. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. It was just very, yeah, the, the, the plot itself. This is what I mean when I say that aside from the concerts, the episode's plot is very thin. It's yeah. very bare oh, bones was, uh, and, just a to- cult, and a totally, like... Plays it totally straight, all the tropes, yeah. hits every beat yeah. you would expect. They see that the manager is mean and the mm. artist is nice and she's just projecting this personality. So they confront the manager. The manager's a jerk. Yeah. Whoa, but tur- what, what a twist that was. What but a it, twist. But it turns out, you know, she doesn't need him. She can get by on her own. Yeah. F- you uh, know, whatever. Like, they just really paint by numbers shit here. And Very I, paint I, I by numbers some, shit. I saw some commenters Unf- saying, like... Unf- oh, let, let me... I, yeah. I heard some commenters saying, like... Okay, it was going to be the normal formula, but man, I really liked the twist that the celebrity knew Applejack. Like, that was a great way. <laughs> That's it's the like, twi- what? what? That's the twist, huh? It's no twist, you fucking whatever. This has been that, done many times. That's not the twist. I'm the twist. <laughs> this is like Scott Pilgrim did like this did you get similar my joke? sort of thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twist's a good pony. Okay. Yep. Um. Uh, all right. Can we, okay, let's, okay. But, yeah, yeah. but, oh, dang it. I was going to make another point about him, about that. About well, that whole I've, dang I've got thing. things to say about him, um, sure. so perhaps have, perhaps ahead. we'll we'll get into it. Okay, so just at the end. Oh no, I was I was gonna say. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, it's starting to feel like a theme this season of episodes that just don't have any twists to them and play themselves out in like a and, way too predictable a manner. And the fact that this is an Amy Keating Rogers episode is disheartening. Dis- uh, I expected a lot. I expected more from from her uh, on the story front, but you know, hey, what 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 can you do? I mean, I guess Pinky Pride wasn't particularly. Uh, variation from the formula. It was everything else that made that episode great. I um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it predictable exactly. Well, I mean, uh, you know, we I don't need to go I into w- it, I, I wasn't expecting some revelation from Cheese that he wasn't always a party pony. You know, th- that's fair. That That is fair. And that was kind of what made the episode so great now that I think it's about it. It's not like it was a shock, but I wouldn't say I saw it coming either. Okay, well, in any case, we can agree this episode was lacking in that department. Yes. Um, so, it's just by the end, uh, uh, Lady Ra Ra realizes, like, you know what? I don't need all this glitz and glamour. I'm just going to be a down-home bitch like Applejack mm-hmm. and make the kind of music, I guess, that I always wanted to. And um, and she, she does that, and everyone loves She it. looked at her cutie mark and said, hey, I was wrong. What this really means, I was supposed to be a star fruit par- farmer. That's right. I'm going to uh, take up the, 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 <laughs> the, the hayseed lifestyle. Going to move in with Applejack and corporatize that I'm gonna, shit. I'm going to um, move in with Applejack and and make sweet love. Yeah. And when she shouts my name, Ra-Ra, <laughs> she'll be thinking of Rarity. Oh, man, I... I can we can uh, we touch on the fact that Ra-Ra is what people call Rarity? <laughs> uh oh hey you're you're right what's I yeah forgot about that a weird a weird nickname isn't that that's character. like a brony name though isn't it, that like yeah, a, yeah brony's yeah. already nicknamed rarity rara so having this other you know white pony with purple hair come in who by the and, way is pretty much superior to rarity in every way and be called <laughs> rara was a little yeah, yeah i wouldn't call it confusing yeah but I was confused. I was deeply confused. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm glad of. I'm glad that Rarity wasn't brought in to be the costume designer for like no reason because well, she was already a celebrity. Which well, she, she was. She well in like the last scene she's doing. Oh no! After after the dude. Oh, after, after she changes or whatever. After ga- after Horse yeah, Gallop gets sent that's away. Fine. Yeah, Rarity is doing her makeup, but that makes sense because now she's a solo yeah. act. So no, yeah, no, okay. that's totally legit. I, I didn't even notice that, but Pre- okay, pretty that's good. Cool. Pretty good, um, Amy. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, okay, okay. It's time. It's time to get into the serious. Finally, here. the shit. <sighs> okay. Now here is here is the deal. Um, Lady Ra Ra here um, has this epiphany where she's going to be herself, whatever. Um, but here's the thing: she didn't get to be a superstar by playing solo piano acts on a no. stage in a dress with with a, a band behind a curtain or whatever. She got to be famous. By being Lady Rara, by being Countess Coloratura. Yeah. Uh, this manager, when 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 she's like, I don't need you, and he's like, Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, mm-hmm. you do need him. And and if in fact you're able to go on and and you know cast him aside because you don't agree with his his morals or whatever, which I think are actually fine, which we can talk about later. Um, that is only because 
you now have you are now so famous through his work that you now have the luxury to reinvent yourself and to just be like you know what i'm pulling a, a reverse miley cyrus i'm going from crazy to 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 normal dude and everyone is going to eat it up because they like to see uh you know people more become like relatable become more i don't know normal like whatever like it, it's an it's an angle that she's taken out that just so happens to be uh in tune with with herself so i don't buy for a fucking second that if she had always done this she would be equally famous she now has the luxury of benefiting from uh sven gallop's sven gallop's hard work and uh like she does not own the the lady rara image as far as i'm concerned that's a joint venture and to just say, this is mine now, I'm taking a new direction, get the fuck out of here, I don't know you shit, I think is, is not only dishonest, uh, is, is, is vastly ignorant of the way that she was able to get where she is. And for that reason, for all those reasons, and for even more, uh, completely disagree with, um, the, a lot of the, the ending resolution stuff. I, what do you think? I agree. Good. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck this you. guy, I mean... The and the guys yeah, the guy's a him. jerk. The yeah. guy's a total jerk. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, the one thing that I did like about him and that I did appreciate is that he is portrayed as being good at his job. They say over and over and he's he's a real hard worker, dude. He works he, hard. He, he gets he, it done. He is a hard worker. And look at and the he's results. Good at what he does. He made him and, the biggest star in the world. So. And I mean, like, yeah. And you're right. He he did do that yep. through this image. And I That's mean, right. let's be honest. Which which was cooler the first concert or the second one? i mean it's obviously the first by a million yeah. miles a yeah. million i mean the second one was fine the song was nice but that's the thing i like she now has the luxury if she's yeah. like oh wow this now, amazing star who now everyone already she's... loves is gonna make a twist and be like yeah. oh wow i i'm into it i'm into now it. that she's famous people will appreciate that from her yeah um yeah. like but, if she had just done that from the beginning she'd be fucking singing at the local prostitute bar down on <laughs> fuck alley you know exactly where we all get our start <laughs> that's right that's right um i'll be playing yeah. there from six to ten tonight so everybody stop by prostitute bar on whore alley I, and i mean mm -hmm. i mean she could always get a new manager that was also good at, yeah. at doing that stuff because really i do i mean i yeah. really like that first <clears throat> concert i thought it was cool dude it was so good it was so, so good it's just it's just too bad, you know? Yeah. I mean, the episode tries to imply that, you know, she can do it on her own. Yeah. But the fact is that, yeah, you're right. Who she is and her stardom and her image w is a joint venture. <laughs> yeah, Partially right. made by him. The fact that he's just out on his ass now. I mean, yes, he's a jerk, mm -hmm. but he still did work this, hard. This episode. And, and is responsible it, yeah. for that. And furthermore... Um, the, yeah, the episode tries to say that she can make it on her own even without him, but the, I'm left with the niggling feeling that, yeah. yeah, I'm sure she can make it and these people will like the concert, mm -hmm. but haven't we lost something? We certainly I think, have. I think we have. And, yeah. and its name was Sven Gallup. Yeah, and, <laughs> and his name was the, Countess Coloratura. Uh, okay, so here's, both here's the thing. Them. Um, what? Okay, so let, let's juxtapose the two characters that are main in this uh, episode. There's, there's Countess Coloratura who crafted an image for herself. And was became the biggest success in the world, biggest musical sensation of all time. As a result of it, <clears throat> and then you got Applejack over K over here, right? She was yeah. she was true to herself. Oh, she was true to herself, all right. And what did she get? She's a dirt farming asshole mm -hmm. who no one gives a fuck about. Living <laughs> exactly. in Ponyville, <laughs> not just a one complete person. piece of shit. Nobody likes her. And uh, you know <laughs> what? Like, what, what are you gonna choose, buddy? I know, what are you gonna I know. choose? Ra Ra, what are you? What are you gonna take? <laughs> what are you gonna take? Best background ponies word for. It? Get the fuck out you're, of here! You're a fucking star, Ra Ra. I don't, oh, I don't want you hanging out with Applejack anymore. She's a bad shit, influence. I'm sorry, my phone. Turn All that right. shit off. Okay. Um. Sorry about that. Every, there's every no, pony. there's no phones in this world we live in. Uh. Oh wait, yes, no, there are. No, because you're right. we called Hasbro that one time. Mm -hmm. To yeah, okay. That's 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 <laughs> canon. Um. That's, that's T-Bab canon. Uh, so, Jesus. Uh, sorry, what, what else we got saying? here? Okay. I got. I got. It, it makes mm. me think. Yeah. Th the whole thing about losing Sven Gallup. And the fact that she's going to, you know, quote unquote, be herself, whatever that means. Yeah. It makes me think about art <clears throat> and about collaboration in art. You yeah. Know? Because totally. while she's while she's the star, mm -hmm. she's the star of her show. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. As, um, as we can yeah, see um. in the final concert, like it wasn't just her own. Sven Gallup was doing all the things that made her show what it was. Right. And so. 
without yeah, those, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's something lost, like you said. Even but, like even mm. though his name wasn't famously attached to it, like he said, he invented the Countess mm. thing. He invented Countess Coloratura. So and and like you know, and and is is the is what's on offer now that she's a solo act is that more valuable because it's more pure or is there or is there value in the collaboration and contributions of others and mm-hmm. does she deserve mm-hmm. and does she deserve to you know does she deserve what she's got when when Sven Gallup was so instrumental in making that's, it happen and I feel exactly like and right. I feel like I'm treading water now and I'm saying what you've already said yeah but well, it he, is mm. but it is a lot of food for thought uh, and, totally and it's a uh, and it's and that makes this episode interesting, at least, which is why even though I thought the plot was kind of weak and dumb, I still o- overall definitely enjoyed I, it. I had a great time watching this episode. But but just to cap that off, I, I yeah. think that this whole thing shows, maybe it's Amy, maybe it's somebody else, shows a, a fundamental misunderstanding of the nature of Lady Gaga. Uh, because it's like they think that Lady Gaga is this person that you see in concerts and shows and stuff, but like it's it's a well known fact that Lady Gaga is a product. It was a crafted image that was designed to appeal, you know, for all well, these reasons. It's not just one dude who acts like that because she's a crazy weird. Like, I, like if you make a choice to become Lady Gaga, to become part of the, like the corporate machine of of the music lifestyle that that pushes this image of you, you have to make a sacrifice. Um, of of like people when they see you they're going to they're going to think you're that like you have to kind of build yourself a cocoon of people that you can be yourself with that doesn't interfere with your you know your stage persona and uh i i feel like this episode wants to have it both ways and you you can't do that you can't that's that's not that's not realistic so you're saying that like you're saying that her new self her quote unquote real self right. isn't really is like a less is not really being professional about her image uh, that's right. I think she's. I think she's going back. Uh, I think she's sort of betraying the people who helped her get to this position by yeah. saying that. Oh, I don't. I don't need those guys. Like I could have I mean, done it all on my own. Which to is a just certain, not to true. a certain extent. I mean, even though the people there enjoyed the concert, I got to imagine that a certain percentage of them are showed up and were like, "What the heck? I wanted yeah, to dance this, this and, have, was, and have a, and have like a wild right, crazy this time." This is what I was gonna the, say. Like at this coloratura you, concert, and here I get this fucking piano shit. Sure, it was a nice song, but yeah. it's not what I came like, here for. Like, if you I go, mean, when the lady comes to rare and is like hey i wanted that badass dress that i saw just like all the other dresses right, and right. she changes it up and puts those different gems on it exactly. she's like this isn't what i came for it's not what i paid for these rah-rah people would show up and be like hey this concert was nice and all nice piano whatever it's not what i yeah, wanted exactly if you go to a lady gaga concert double I, standard I exactly if you if, if if lady gaga sits down play oh, like like happened in this episode she plays one piano song that's it it's like a new song that she just wrote that's her like true self and she doesn't play anything else, you're going to be like, what the fuck was that? If she doesn't play telephone, she doesn't play applause, she doesn't play swine, she doesn't play Donatella, like, you're like, what the fuck? This is not what I signed up for. No one's going to give a shit about your new project. I mean, how many times do you go to a concert and they play their new songs? You don't give a shit. You want to hear the stuff that is on the radio that everybody loves. And and she's like, no, that's not me anymore. Like, you can do that. That's fine. But that's not what people came to see. That's I, not... I mean, I mean, you'll have you'll have a certain... You'll have a certain percentage of people yeah. that are interested in you and want to see and will and will like or not necessarily like but will sure. care about your project no matter what it is. Right. But then there's going to be everyone that liked your old product. That's right. M- most and, and, people and wanted that and in not getting it. Kind of like the people that like <clears throat> me for being famous as Fandom Horn on T-Bat. Mm-hmm, a small mm-hmm. number of those people might be inter- might be interested enough in me to go and read my dang comic at saintcomics.com. Link in the description and, and in the annotations. And Thumbs up. E- everybody loves the sexy horse boy cake standard but who knows if they love uh the best guy ever doing anime shit over on his his channel over there that oh, guy's dang. pretty great yeah he's, he's got some gurren logging shit that everybody loves that the internet's getting hot about so Whew. you know tell me about it it's hot under that collar tell me about it yeah. hot under that link, huge link anime collar that's right um man dude, what were we talking yeah, about i i told my ourselves and man was that a great dis- thing to very talk satisfying about. well i don't know dude i, I, I have we it. said everything have we said everything there is to say you know there, there was episode? i have one other note uh just to give credit to this episode um i i liked uh, this is just one example of of the the density i remember that scene where where the guy's like um did you get everything that she demanded and and pig's like yeah and then they kind of go down the list of all these like actual 
equestria places like the the Jubilee Cherries, the the, the Jubilee Go- Cherries, Gustav Sorted Legrand, Red from Yellow, Eclairs, the Crystal Empire Crystals, the Rainbow Falls Water. Uh, I just which know, I was really disappointed to see was not rainbow colored. It, oh, well, the the oh really? I thought it the was, jars were or something. It, it had a I, okay. I only saw it for a second, but yeah. I think it was regular water just with a rainbow. Well, that's label retarded. On it. You can see that the ocean, like the, that that river or whatever, is a rainbow. So what? I mean, what maybe they maybe that rainbow water? stuff is. I mean, that rainbow stuff isn't is maybe not water. Maybe it's actual rainbow. Oh, maybe that's a layer that of of toxin on the top of the river that just floats. You know, yeah, <laughs> like scum. It's, it's irradiated it's by it's irradiated by yeah. the sun, which is a ball of which is a ball Plasma? of sorcery that, <laughs> that's that right. Celestia made to deceive us all. Yes, and if you. <laughs> shoot celestia if you go to canterlot yes. and defeat her two golden champions mm-hmm. and shoot celestia you'll she'll be see merely, she's an, merely illusion. an illusion yeah. projected yeah. by luna Whoa. uh do you she, get my she, reference she won those that that battle all those years back we've been in the, we've oh been in God. the dark land this whole time the the oh age of fire has ended long ago dark su- dark sun luna has just been Whoa. has just been puppeting her illusion this regime has to come to an end well, age, looks like we're going on the a quest, age of Phantom dark, Horn. The age of Phantom Horn must begin. <laughs> yes. Go watch Phantom Reviews and go, see that shit it. happening. Okay, I, I think that's it. I was just going to say okay. there was things, there was lots of cool stuff like that. Like, th- that's the kind of thing Amy, Ke- Amy Keating Rogers brings, like those little references, because she gets it. She knows the shit, you know, but whatever. Um, it, anyway. It was, a ve- it was a very interesting episode. Like, I, I, like it, the, had, it had mm, real highlights. Yeah. And it yeah. was real, and, and there were real ideas going on in here. Yeah. Did I like all of them? No. But they were definitely there, and I appreciated them. And the main plot was real thin and played it out oh so predictably, so painfully predictably. so. Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. highlights of the the concerts, especially the first one, were yeah. just, and and just the imagery and the creativity going on. And when she shows up in that huge like gold sarcophagus or whatever, dude, the, yeah, like, the pyramid crystal thing, and chariot thing, that was cool that was so cool as heck. I know. I and know. she herself just looked really cool, and it was so there was, I mean. Good stuff. Overall, I get it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a B. Uh, buzz, <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz. <laughs> um, uh, I give it. I give it a B. In, in the same way, like th- this was interesting for me because had a mixture of things I loved and a bunch of stuff that I passionately hated. Um, so yeah, the, the the moral you mean? Yeah, like I'm. Yeah. S- I hate it so much that I'm kind of. I kind of love it. Well, I don't, it gives I don't, me something to rage about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't disagree with the moral. Like I, I don't think she was wrong, disagree. but I wouldn't say that she was 100 percent right. I'm really torn on the moral because, oh, like, oh. on the one hand, he is yeah. a jerk and it is her career and she should be allowed to work with whoever she wants. But yeah. on the other hand, this guy's out in the cold, whereas he was a legitimately hard worker Just, and mm. really did contribute to her career so much. And I know we've covered this already, but yeah. God. Dang. Just just to finish off on the, uh, talking about him, I uh, don't really think he did anything particularly wrong. He he advocated not doing charity work, sure, but like fuck charity, who gives a shit? Uh, uh, yeah, it was <laughs> it was still it was still up to her. Yeah, and, and okay, yeah, the only he thing did, he really like, yeah he, he didn't actually con- do anything. He only thre- he only threatened to cancel the concert, uh, yeah, which I don't frankly, think he actually could have done. That's exactly what I was going to say. I and, think and, it was just a threat, and like yeah, like, it's kind of scummy to do that. But he wasn't. Yeah, like, he whatever, was just dude. being a jerk. He's just. He just got fired for being a jerk, basically. Right. Right. It's like, mm, yeah. Is I, that fair? Well, I, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. We've made our our positions well, you clear know, on this. He'll, I think. he'll 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 be missed. He. Uh, yeah. Like, man. No more. No more. Lady Ra Ra. She's Sven, done. Sven. I hope Sven Gallup goes and gets hired by by Sapphire Shores, and she becomes oh, the new yes. the new number one. Dude, that's the thing. I see her 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 stock value or whatever plummeting after this change. Like, oh, she went back to her roots. Oh, yeah. nobody gives a shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Her career is gonna take a hit. There's yep. no doubt about that. Some, some of the people who who are the best are kind of jerks. You're gonna have to learn to deal with it, folks. Uh, mm-hmm. I I give this episode. Um, uh, okay. In the same way that I give the room like a ten out of ten. I give this yeah. episode like a nine out of ten, just because I I had such a great time watching it and raging, and then like loving the I can, visuals. I can imagine you sitting at your computer, Fuming. just like flailing your arms and screaming, <laughs> "What? How yeah. could you?" Blaming my Sven hooves. Gallup, it's, he made you who you are. That's right. That's right. This this man made this woman who she was. Yeah. It's an age old tale, and yeah. we saw the man get shit on again she in needs, this episode. She, ne- she needs to respect men's rights, folks. <laughs> men's she needs to rights. Respect. She needs to. Re- oh, <laughs> She needs to respect men's rights. That's right. That's it, folks. That's the real moral. Yep, that's right. All right. So a B and a nine out of ten. Yeah, I guess that's so an a. pretty good an overall. A, yeah. a pretty good time was had by all. Yep. So that brings us to a close. Now, before we go, I want to remind 
everyone who hasn't seen, last week I announced my dang webcomic came out, mm-hmm. The Vapors. It's on saintcomics.com, S-A-I-N-T-C-O-M-I-X. And link, link in, in the, the description. Descri- description and in the annotations. Please go read it. If you do, I love you. If not, eh. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as always, we've got our patrons here pledging us, keeping us going. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Megan Hannafin, Christopher Roberts, Matthew Chapdelaine of MetaversalComics.com. Go check it out. Noah Troutman, Crack, Michael Anarelli, Brian Dagame. Dagame? Da, da anime. Da ga- Brian da game. Hate da player, not da game. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Brian. Nell Bells. Hail Wilf- Bells. Da, da, Wil- da. Wilford Brimley's Boner from Cocoon. Hmm, okay. Not a movie I'm familiar with. That's the, the little known porn he did, I think. Is that a fact? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not little known anymore. <laughs> Not Nothing about tea- that thing was not now that T-Bap has with. blown the lid <laughs> wide open. Yep. <laughs> Justin Butler, Jacob Bielski, Reverse Spectrum, Indigovation, Little Tinker, Justin Adams, J Time, Angela Durand, and Paul Toussaint. Thanks, Thank guys. you all so much. We appreciate and it. And one more shout out to a big old fan of ours, Hayden Suter. Mm. Hayden Suter? I don't know. Mm. Who bought a shirt. He bought my shirt, not a phantom horn shirt, but a unicorn power shirt. So he's going to be walking around town looking power. just like me. Yeah. Looking just like me and being <laughs> a the handsome coolest boy kid. about town indeed. <laughs> <laughs> a handsome boy about town is just what I am. And it's just what you're going to be, Hayden. And you so... could be too if you bought a unicorn power yes, shirt. V- yes, viewer. <laughs> even even you, even fat, slovenly you <laughs> could have the a little felt cool. physique that's, that's if you buy a <laughs> size too small and cram yourself into that thing. Just like uh, me. Hey, have you seen these? Th- they're like compression shirts that make fat people look muscular. I don't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Is that is that what you wear? That's... Is that how you, is that your secret? <laughs> I wear a full body suit that covers everything, including my face. It's it's all it's all a fugazi, folks. It's all been a lie. A I've been duping you all along. Okay, that's it, guys. I can only Thanks apl- for I can... watching. <laughs> you, you you've been exposed to all our lies. Uh, uh, we have we have such a great time on this show, Keg. Such a good time, Phantom. It's and I hope you magical. enjoyed it too, viewer. And hey, guess what? Next week, <laughs> season finale. Oh my God, I'm not. I'm not ready, man. I'm, I'm not, not ready. ready to let go. I'm not ready to let go of that sweet Patreon bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not what I meant, uh, but it's true. It's not what I meant, but it's true. It is. It is true. We've said. Uh, All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give us more bits and kibbles, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. See you next time. Season finale. Keg and Phantom. A thousand years. Bye bye. A thousand years. Bye bye.